the Grimorum is gone, as are the gargoyles. However, I think you'll find this interesting. Hey, Raven, we know all about you and your amazing powers. You can see the future from a mile away. You get that funny look on your face, and then bam, a vision is born. So we were just wondering, did you foresee that Disney was going to add a plus sign to the end of their name and change the world one nostalgic show at a time? We're sure you did. You're the one and only Raven Baxter after all. Okay, everybody, let's take it from the top. Disney Plus is officially here, and millennials are losing it. With so many awesome shows to choose from, it's no wonder they don't know where to start. We've lined up 10 of the best Disney shows for you, and each one is sure to have you skipping down memory lane in no time. Watch until the end to find out which original Disney series is getting an official reboot in 2020. Boy Meets World Boy Meets World has got to be one of the most cherished sitcoms of the 90s. Tons of millennials learned all about family values while watching the Matthews family grow up together on the small screen. The series' first ever episode aired on September 24, 1993 and would go on to air its series finale on May 5, 2000. Kids grew up alongside their favorite characters, making them both iconic and nostalgic. Who could forget about Corey Matthews and Topanga Lawrence's epic love story? This is just a painting. This is a masterpiece. We're a masterpiece. Or how Corey and Sean always had each other's backs. We loved how Mr. Feeney was always there to offer some sound advice, and how each episode left its viewers with a newfound life lesson. Boy Meets World first aired on ABC, but Disney Channel acquired the rights to air the series once it concluded its run. The show was such a success that Disney took it upon themselves to create Girl Meets World in 2014. The spin-off series welcomed back some of the original show's main cast and followed Cory and Topanga's daughter Riley as she learned life lessons of her own. Recess one of the most exciting things about Disney Plus is all the amazing cartoons it has to offer. If there's one animated series that people will never forget, it's Recess. The animated comedy was produced by Walt Disney Television Animation, and it was part of Disney's One Saturday Morning. Kids everywhere couldn't wait to wake up on Saturday mornings and find out what TJ and his besties were up to. Recess aired from 1997 to 2001. However, the show's reruns lasted until 2004. Recess showed us what the social groups of elementary kids looked like. It emphasized how out of control kindergartners could be and how younger elementary school kids viewed sixth graders as royalty. By the time six seasons had come and gone, viewers knew all about the friendly and popular TJ Detweiler and athletic Vince LaSalle and the tough girl Ashley Spinelli, the poetic giant Mikey Blumberg, the smarty pants Gretchen Grundler, and the shy guy Gus Griswold. This series taught us all about friendship and how it was okay to have more than one best friend. Gargoyles Gargoyles has got to be one of Disney's most ambitious and underrated animated series of the 90s. Well, let's just get this over with, shall we? How can I be of service? Huh? Out with it, I haven't got all night. You've got all millennium. With a towering 78 episodes, it's no wonder that millennials are already binge-watching the series on Disney+. Plus. Gargoyles aired from October 24, 1994 to February 15, 1997. While the series did get canceled, it remains one of the most adored Disney series series of its decade. Disney had a much more mature audience in mind when they crafted the idea for Gargoyles, which is why many of us will enjoy it even more today than we did before. The series begins in 1994 when a billionaire named David Santos buys an old Scottish castle and moves it to the top of a Manhattan skyscraper. He breaks the spell that he has kept the Gargoyles stuck in a stone prison since 994 AD. And once free, they adapt to the new world and help keep the people of New York City safe. This series is unpredictable and highly addictive, so make sure to start watching it when you have a couple days off in a row. Even Stevens Most of us remember the hilarious TV show Even Stevens like it was yesterday. It was all about sibling rivalry, and viewers couldn't get enough of Lewis and Ren Stevens' clashing personalities. The teen sitcom aired from 2000 to 2003 and quickly became one of the most popular TV shows on the Disney Channel. To wrap up the series, the show was given its very own Disney Channel original movie. The Even Stevens movie served as the series finale and premiered in the spring of 2003. Fans of the show are 
are so excited to rewatch the sitcom on Disney Plus and finish it off with the movie. Even Steven served as actor Shia LaBeouf's breakout role. It catapulted him into the limelight, and the rest is pretty much history. His on screen sister, Ren, who was played by Christy Carlson Romano, went on to voice Kim Possible in Disney's animated series by the same name. Kim Possible is also available on Disney Plus, and it has fans bubbling with excitement. Phil of the Future if you're looking for a blast from the past, look no further because you can officially stream Phil of the Future on Disney+. The science fiction sitcom lasted for two seasons and aired from 2004 to 2006. It was an instant hit, and viewers loved the concept it brought forth. The futuristic series followed the Diffie family, all of whom got stranded in the 21st century. The Diffie's time machine breaks down during a family trip, propelling them into the past where they're forced to act like nothing is wrong. This hilarious show is a hard one to forget. It's hilarious and witty, but most of all, its concept is fresh and entirely different than what Disney usually sets its sights on. The series is loaded with eccentric characters like Phil's mom, Barbara, and Phil's best friend turned girlfriend, Keely. Phil's got a cupboard filled with gadgets that are sure to keep his viewers entertained. X-Men who else remembers running to the living room on Saturday mornings and flipping on the TV to catch the latest episodes of X-Men? This animated series always left its viewers wanting more, which is why millennials are already binge-watching this throwback series. Without X-Men, the Marvel animated universe just wouldn't be the same. This series proved how successful a Marvel animated series could be, which is what prompted producers to create future shows like X-Men Evolution, Wolverine and the X-Men, and Batman the Animated series. Until today, X-Men remains the longest-running animated Marvel series, which just goes to show how amazing it is. X-Men aired from 1992 to 1997. It had a total of five seasons, all of which were faithful to the original comic book versions. If you re-watch this series, you'll probably be stunned at how many mature issues it touches upon. From prejudice to isolation to racism, X-Men shines a light on all these problems, shaping young minds with a positive message in the process. Smart Guy There's no doubt about it, Smart Guy was one of the best TV shows on Disney. This 90s sitcom followed the Henderson family as they raised young TJ, a boy genius. TJ had two older siblings, Yvette and Marcus, who were hilarious in their own right. One of the best characters the show had to offer was Marcus's best friend, Mo Tibbs. Hey, TJ, a face from the outside, come all the way over here to visit old Mo. This is where I park my bike who brought lightheartedness and humor to the sitcom. And how could we ever forget about Floyd Henderson, the loving and hardworking single father of three children? At only 10 years old, TJ is known for his incredible intelligence. We find out all about his family and their ventures as TJ gets transferred to Piedmont High School. Fitting in proves to be tougher than algebra, but TJ's siblings are always there to help him. Smart Guy aired on the Disney Channel from 1997 to 1999, and its reruns would later appear on BET from 2008 to 2009. That's So Raven Disney Channel stars come and go, so it's totally normal to forget about them every decade or so. But if there's one family Disney Channel won't let us forget about, it's the Baxters. That's So Raven was such a success that it won countless awards after premiering in the winter of 2003. The sitcom would go on to have a total of 100 episodes. Originally, That's So Raven aired on ABC Kids, but it would later become a part of the Disney Channel family. The plot revolves around a teenage high school student named Raven Baxter who has a very special secret. She can see into the future. Her best friends Eddie and Chelsea know all about her powers and continuously help her decipher her visions in hopes of preventing them from happening. The show would go on to have two spin-offs, Cory in the House and Raven's Home. We foresee that you'll be binge-watching these series in the near future. Doug before becoming a Disney classic, Doug used to be a Nickelodeon series. But once the series concluded, Disney picked up where Nickelodeon left off. This sitcom has always received mixed reviews from its viewers. Some kids couldn't stand it, while others saw it as the best show on television. Either way, we can all agree that Doug holds a special place in our childhoods. Doug was part of the one Saturday morning block. It played alongside Recess and Pepper Ann. The sitcom had a total of three seasons and a feature follow-up film titled Doug's First Movie. Were you a fan of Doug Bunny? Tell us in the comments.
Lizzie McGuire. Last but not least is the ultra popular teen sitcom Lizzie McGuire. It didn't matter if you were a boy or a girl, chances were you loved following Lizzie's everyday life on the small screen. Her best friends Miranda and Gordo always had Lizzie's back, no matter how awkward she was acting. And let's not forget about Lizzie's hilarious parents or her up to no good little brother Matt. Characters like Ethan Kraft and Kate Sanders will go down in Disney history, so we're not at all surprised that fans of the show are jumping at the chance to rewatch the series. It's been confirmed that Lizzie McGuire is getting a reboot sometime in 2020, so if you love this show, now would be a good time to start rewatching all 64 episodes. What was the first thing you watched on Disney Plus? Tell us in the comments. And that's a wrap. Subscribe to The Things for more fun content, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.